What's happening, guys? Hawk Runehammer here. I hope you enjoyed that little intro to the Crusader Fort. And um, as you can see, we've taken our concept build from the Crusader Scout Tower and definitely expanded on it. Um, let's go ahead and take a closer look. And uh, we're going to start by here at the road. And we're going to walk over here to this Bedouin camp. And these guys are basically nomads. They're traveling from, you know, town to town in between. Uh, you know, they're not really involved in the Crusades. They're just uh, maybe tribesmen, traders, that sort of thing. And they just like to travel around and, um, and trade goods with the various uh, factions and forts and things like that. They don't really have any allegiance. Um, but I thought it would be a, a neat idea to put a, a camp of some kind outside of the uh, castle. Um, and then build this little oasis. Like, this wasn't here. Like, I put this here. Tree. I made the tree. I made all the trees. Um, everything here is custom. I just wanted to, uh, really, because, I mean, you don't, this doesn't really spawn in Minecraft, and so I wanted to make something interesting, uh, in an interesting little feature on the outside. So, um, as you can see, I've got some villagers inside the tents and outside the tents, and how I'm actually making them stay put is barrier blocks. Um, yeah, there are invisible little blocks right here. See, I can't can't pass through this, um, and neither can they. That's the point. Like it just keeps them inside their little tent. So they're just pretty much part of an exhibit. Yep, this is my Minecraft zoo. All right, so moving on from that, we're gonna go up here to the entrance of the fortress, and. Um, as you can see, as we walk inside here, we've got a lot of things going on. We've got that archery range with our uh, archers, and we've got some guards here at the gate. I decided to use some armor stands just to liven the place up a bit, because before, I mean, everything looked pretty good. But I thought maybe adding some soldiers would, um, would make it seem more interesting and um, make it sort of come to life in your imagination of like what this is supposed to be and like what goes on here so over here we've got the fort commander he's addressing his troops with his captain and um, they're getting a talking to don't know if it's good or bad but they're getting briefed about something maybe some sort of mission or uh, defense strategy over here we have the uh, quartermaster He's the guy you go to to get any gear, to get your armor, to, to get stuff fixed. And uh, we've got a small little overhang with supplies and a little a little forge. Uh, I, I actually kind of like the way this came out. And uh, I, again, I used the same technique I used for the mage tower to create a lit furnace um, by placing it in with world edit. Um, and then we've got some people just sort of milling about. we got an archer. He's I don't know if he's off duty or he's just going... You know, maybe he's leaving his post. Maybe he's going to the castle. I don't know. And over here, we've got the stables, the um, for the knights. This is where they keep their their horses. Here's one of them now. I'm gonna go check on his noble steed. And um, I rather like the way they came out. Like if you if you look inside, there's a just sort of hay scattered on the ground, some gravel, and um, and of course all these lovely ponies. Uh, they're not ponies, of course. They're war horses. They are bred for battle. So, um, and typically speaking, um, now this wasn't always the case, but in certain orders of knights, um, they would use all one color horse. They would specifically breed, um, like only white horses or only like black horses or whatever, and they would use that to to create uniformity in their ranks. So um, that's why I've got all the same color horse here. Just a little gee whiz information. Um, the roof of the stable, I just sort of, I don't know, I just sort of went went at it and came up with this design. I like it. I like it. It adds a little bit of texture to an otherwise, what would have otherwise been a boring roof. It would have just been sort of just this sort of slant coming down from the side there. But I like it. I like the way it came out. It adds a nice, um, a nice texture to the roof. Um, something to break up the monotony a little bit. And, um... East side of the towers here, uh, we've got more soldiers going, you know, going about their business. They're on watch. 
Um, he's probably going to come brief this person by falling asleep on his post or something. I don't know. Um, but yes, this I'm going with the, the Templar theme here again. And um, I, I created these, these flags just for that. Uh, let's do a quick show around on the outside. Um, you notice that I've got like sand propped up against the walls. And that's because in the desert, things just, they don't just stay flat. They, um, the sand gets blown around. And especially when you have a structure standing in the middle of a desert, um, the sand will get blown up against that building and create these sort of sand drifts. And that's really what that, that's supposed to be. Um, here's some more detailing on the sides here. I thought it'd be interesting to have um, just a sort of a, an extension off of the, the keep um, to come out onto the wall. Um, and uh, each each wall, like it's not just all the same height either. It kind of goes up like this is the same height. And then you've got this one that's raised up. And not only is it raised up, just to add a little bit of interesting shape to it, I um, I made it sort of a an, an odd angle so that it's not just a perfect box. Um, I wanted to add a little bit of flavor. And of course, we got sand that's been blown into the fort um, and is, is up against the walls. They, they try to keep it clean in here, but it's the desert. Sand gets everywhere. Um, got extra hay for the ponies. I mean, uh, noble steeds. And um, I didn't make an interior. I didn't really make much of an interior. Actually, I didn't make any interior uh, to the fort itself. Um, I thought that maybe I would save that for another time or just maybe just not do one at all. Um, this is sort of an idea, and you've seen it several times already that I've passed by it. Uh, this is sort of an idea that I had for the flags where they're mounted um, sort of on like a flagpole that can be raised and lowered. Um, that way, uh, it I mean, it just adds a little bit sense of realism. They're not just stuck onto the wall. You know, I, I do some stuff with banners. And sometimes I just hang them on the wall. But I thought this would make it more, I don't know, realistic. Um, and let's go on ahead up over here to the top. And you can see this lovely banner that is waving in the wind. It's this huge flag basically saying, you know, hey, this is a Templar fort. You need to stay clear unless you want to get fired on. Um, so... I did change up some things, as you can see from the style. Um, I went for more. Um, of course, it, the other the other style though was a just uh, an outpost, an outpost. It didn't the, the the battlements weren't as thick or as well defended. It had like fence posts in between. This though, this design, it is taken more out of a, an Arabian sort of style, but it is a desert castle. So I thought it would be pretty fitting to have all of these sort of sloped buttresses and crenellations. Um, anyway, I, I think everything overall, I just I just think that this build came out so nice. Um, just from the detailing all the way to the, the just the general shape of everything. I usually try to make something rounded and I've stuck with this sort of square, uh, square design. Um, for the for the towers and for the walls, honestly, I think it looks great. Um, and I'm I'm my biggest critic, and I usually don't say that about my builds. I'm like, ah, it's okay, but tell me what you guys think. But uh, and I do want you to tell me what you guys think. I do want to know your feedback and things that I could have done better, because um, there's always room for improvement. But overall, I'm pretty proud of this build and um, just the way that it came out. Um, I don't really have too many complaints. Um, I don't know, maybe I overdid it with the buttons, but I thought that using those for sort of trim would um, just add another layer of detail and uh, maybe add a little bit of extra, extra coloration to the walls, because it's all sandstone. So, plus I also added the acacia wood to the battlements um, so that it would have a floor and to break up the sandstone which I think the coloration is really nice. I think it goes together pretty well. And then the oak for the uh, for the roofs of all the, the structures. And the well. The well, I, I use the same technique as before. And I think I'm going to do this for all my wells from now on, honestly. I think if you ever look inside a well that I make from now on, 
it's probably going to be a cauldron inside. And I love the way the Conquest texture pack, I love the way that it actually changes the cauldrons to for, for whatever biome you're in, because it looks like a wicker basket, um, which I know that's what they were trying to get at. So uh, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Overall, um, pretty neat build. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. And uh, just let me know what you guys think down in the uh, comment section below. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you liked this build. There's a lot more content like this where it came from. And um, I think next time, maybe instead of a desert crusader t uh, castle, I think maybe I'll try a more European um, uh, woodlands or like a plains uh, sort of castle, maybe something more along those lines so I can use some gray stone. I don't know yet. I don't know. Maybe I'll do one more in the desert style. I'm really enjoying building in this style, and um, it's just given me all sorts of new ideas um, on builds to do and, and things to bring to the channel. So, like I said, let me know what you guys think, and if you like this video, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, I'm Hulk Runehammer. Signing out, guys. Peace.